Yo, what's good everybody? It's Rishi TCG here and we're back with another video and in this video we're gonna go through a Doflamingo game versus Luchi Doflamingo played by my friend Aaron Double A, who's a top player. Um and me playing Luchi. This video is gonna be commentated by him and he's now joined the Rishi TCG team. And we'll be helping with Patreon articles and guides and everything else. And I'm glad to have him. Anyway, here's the list. This is the list that I've been playing at Locals. I've been winning mostly with it. I play fourth teach in it. Um, I'll have another video describing the list a little bit later. But if you want to play this list, I recommend playing this list. And if there's any changes and if you see a lot of Bonnies, I'd probably think about maybe adding to Red Rock, whether that be cutting a Jozu and a Buggy or a Jozu and a Perona to add the two Red Rock. It's up to you. Um, but I, I'm really liking this Dofi list and I've been winning a lot with it. Okay, so now with the Luchi list, this is Holden Miller's Luchi list. I always kind of go around a, um, a list from Holden. And here we got the three Kuzons and the four Jacks still from the previous meta, which I really didn't want to let go of Kuzon. Kuzon helps us in so many matchups like Purple Luffy, Eno, um, even Bonnie matchups. It's just such a crucial card, and I didn't really want to let go of it. But with the with Dofi running around, I decided to pull, that we it's time to play Brook, and it's it, it only gets better for me when you play Brook because you're able to KO more and more bodies. Um, other than that, okay, so what you're gonna see that that Holden doesn't play a Suru. I decided to play a Suru instead of a um that extra who's who, but you can just like you know check that out and see how whatever floats your boat all right well hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll get straight into it what's up youtube this is double a uh, i'm the guy on the right with the do flamingo leader i'm um, just helping rishi out with uh commentating over the gameplay because i think the the audio of the actual camera was kind of bad so let's see Typically in this matchup as Blue Dofi, you know, you kind of just want to see your pieces like if you play the Perona engine or the the Teach engine, you want to make sure you're able to stack on top of your deck to you know, use a leader ability effectively and efficiently. So I believe my hand was, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was like a Bounce Law, maybe a, a Jozu and a Teach. If I'm not mistaken. I had some sort of stacking, but I just don't remember it too well. I also had the pudding card, which is pretty good into like throwing your opponents off, like if they were planning like their turns out in their head or in their hand with their hand, then it would be essentially just a way to throw them off, change their game plan. And uh, I believe, yeah, I tapped Rishi. No. It's opening hand. It's completely random now since he mulliganed. Alright, and I did win the die roll, so I chose to go second. Let's see, I do buggy. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember this. I, I was gonna bottom it until I remember that you have to, with buggy, you have to place on top three. It says it on the card, so. I believe I, I stacked the Perona on the top because since I went second, I'll have the extra Dawn so I can actually play the Perona and set up uh, the next stack effectively. Oh, oh, he went eight. So, you know, we just take that and didn't play a brick. So we were happy about that. And then I believe this turn is just Perona. All right, Perona, rearrange top five. In any order that I choose to. Let's see, I can't really see it. I guess it's Jozu, Weevil. Weevil's gonna draw and then account for the draw for the next turn. And then set up something else. Just thinking about what I wanted. And then it's always good to double check, you know, in like actual tournaments, you don't wanna miss like misplay. So it's, it's good to get that practice in early, you know, make sure that you're not effectively miscounting you know for the weevil draw and i do seven liter effect weevil 
like it's a draw card and sevens like you know two cards and you know rishi forgot about the seven so now he took that's a reminder you're going to five down typically here they either go five at lead and reduce you know we will and then who's who trash a card and try ko the we will but in this case i don't think he has it so effectively he just wanted to get rid of it so I chose to just jam at it, which <clears throat> is good for us, right? He's not developing anything, you're just killing one thing. That's fine. Let's see. And then I think I was debating changing my line because Originally, what I had planned was to Joseph, I believe, and then be fine with the draw for the next turn. But since he didn't, you know, decide to play anything and just go 10 at Weevil, I think I decided to change my mind, which is fine, you know. But Ludofi is kind of like a tempo slash uh, control deck at the same time. And it's also aggro at the same time, so you're able to just change your plans. And uh, I decided to do that, so I decided to search. Which is fine because you know we will or uh, Jimbe was not in the stack. I remember this, and he's not in my hand, so I was trying to you know get a little closer to to Jimbe, and uh, he's still not in my hand, so I decided to just uh, I believe I do. I think I just do law here. If I remember, I think law's in my hand, so you know law's not bad. So I just decided to to do. Five at leader, and then he decides, I believe, to to counter since it's just a five k. So, and I do law bounce that, bounce that, and then replay the Perona with the extra dawn and set up next turn since there's really nothing that bounce on his board. So, and if I do remember correctly, there is a Jimbe in there. Yeah, there's a Jimbe. You can see the the card there. Uh, we ran the stack it in the past turn. No, this is him going to seven, so I'm expecting Jack just to come down and just like remove the law, which he swings five and seven up. So I'm just gonna play Jack, do the effect, kill my unit. You know, pretty, pretty simple stuff, nothing too crazy. Now that Jack's on the board, it's kind of gonna get annoying because. Jack effectively just ca take ca um, takes fucking really good care of you know the standing units so that you can just swing over the rest of things or his or his board typically can just swing over the rest of things but Rishi hasn't played a, a thing for two or three turns and then just Rishi playing a uh, Japanese manga I guess that's red somehow and I do the you know the infinite combo. That everybody and their mother, you know, dreams of doing. And then I, oh, I forgot about this. Oops. But yeah, putting his like eight or nine card hand. Oops. I don't know how I forgot about that. That's pretty funny, but just like completely threw off his plan. You know, he had like eight or nine cards, so doing that is, it feels pretty good, but it's also just a stupid card. With the stupid mechanic that shouldn't even be in the game, but I mean, it's, it's whatever. See, and then you know, 
putting makes you draw or a mulligan and just draw five which are just random cards and you didn't get a gecko which is which is pretty good you know gecko is just an absurd card that does a lot it does a lot that's for sure from the looks of it he does have he has reduction you know doesn't really need ice stage in this matchup unless like there's like a jozu out there because you know your leader swing just puts everything in jack territory so from the looks of it he's just going to uh either go ice age tempest kick or something like just to see if it changes uh his play you know see what he draws but now he goes six at yeah nothing to now will send me just minus you know the weevil because it's the the bigger body bigger swing and he does exactly that and oh okay pitches luchi does one for Suru. Oh, okay. Suru so probably reducing, I would assume, the Jinbei? Yeah, makes sense. And Jack effect, you know, draw on trash on K or something. Let's see what he can draw. Kuzma? And then passing the turn. So, realistically, he did KO, like I said, my standing, and he managed to KO my rest of thing just because I guarded out of it. And, uh, and, I mean, at least we got a 2k out for that, so. All right, and there we go, you know. Uh, Boa Blocker, which is in the, the brand new starter deck for Dofi, which essentially you're paying three Dawn for it since you get arrested Dawn, so you're. You know more down efficient because of that card and you can uh rearrange the top three however you want so i believe i think jimbe is on there if i'm not mistaken and uh i believe here i was debating going like 10 or 11 at jack but i realized that you know i had a femur in hand since the beginning of the game and uh i said i'm just gonna go face because jack's just really hard to swing over and effectively get a, a bunch of cards out versus him being at three life and i just have to get him down so i decided to opt out instead of playing like a few things from my hand i was decided to get value with the the putting in the bow effect essentially to just play something out because i believe my game plan was just to have like a full board of four drops like playing over the sengoku perona and whatnot but I decided to get value with putting just go seven since I'm able to cheat something out here in a, in a few seconds with the leader ability and it counters out which you know I was expecting him to at least counter that one and then I go Jinbei Jinbei play over that you know like Gecko Gecko I was debating grabbing back Jinbei but an AK swing in the face puts him down to one so I decided just to change my mind after this or was that the next turn? <laughs> oh no I did grab it wait never mind I think that was a different turn where I changed my mind right was it not this one uh, hmm maybe it was this I think it's a different turn where like I said, uh, uh, this these games were recorded a little earlier throughout the day, and then we went to go do stuff. Uh, I just decided to change my mind, and uh, yeah, I forgot that he he minus my uh, boa blocker. So effectively, there the the best thing to do is just block because Jack KOing. Like, and with the effect instead of him swinging over it, it just enables him to just to filter and see if he can just like draw into like a gecko or something else and like just filtering for free so it's better just to block there and just have him swing over over things and like i said he needs a reduction for this jack to like be able to kill anything else so like right here he just decides to go eight at putting which you know I'm not, I'm not gonna guard that that's just not worth 
And from the looks of it, I mean, Ice Age, and then probably Luchi. Just like KO my entire board, pretty much. Oh, I think he forgot to Ice Age, but it's fine. Uh, he has it in hand, so. Oh, uh, yeah, he forgot. Okay, so he just Ice Ages. You know, this is we're just testing, so it's fine to like, you know, make the mistakes, but. You know, obviously in tournament you guys don't want to do this so it's, it's just just a learning aspect so he does that Luchi bottoming three for oh okay I guess they just re-put it in the trash it's, I guess it, no, neither of us noticed uh, until, <laughs> until now I guess that he was supposed to put that to the bottom of the deck but that's fine like I guess I were just testing, but yeah, he managed to just wipe my board entirely, you know, Luchi doing Luchi things, right? Like, reducing it to the ground and then just killing it, but, you know, he does have two cards in hand, so, you know, the game plan with the whole femur thing is still, still alive and well, you know? So I played Jinbei, Gecko, Gecko effect. I was debating bouncing back the, the Rebecca somehow, with the, with the law, but, I think I look at my hand and I realize I don't have a one drop, so I just decide, you know, for the next best best thing, which is just grabbing boa, uh, playing boa. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I was thinking about. Pretty sure it's just grab boa, right? Oh, then I grab boa. Oh man, like I said, I forgot. I forgot in the morning, but just doing my best to like uh, commentate here pretty rough right now since I guess I just completely forgot wait I do grab the bar right am I tripping oh yeah okay yeah sorry about that yeah so I, I decided to grab the bow just because you know we can still do the the bow thing you know get the rest of the on cheat something out so just do that do the weevil yeah draw a card so like he just blocks which so no reason not to he only has three cards in him and uh it's just, you know, not worth the boa being there and like I trigger gravity blade or something and just gets bottom decked. You got it gets no value out of it. And from here if I'm not mistaken. I do the the whole shebang earlier where he's just gonna reduce the boa. So instead of him being able to swing into the weevil and dying. I choose to block with the boa so you can't just jack it and filter to like uh, KO and get to draw a card and trash a card of his choosing. So that's exactly what he's doing. He's going like nine and reducing it. So I just block because Jack's just gonna kill it. So I have him instead of turning Jack sideways and filtering, I just have him swing into it. And uh, now here I'm just pretending I'm messing around with him that he can't swing into it, saying it's active. But he decides to instead of swinging uh, a first, he goes six with you know just poking with the, the Luchi, and he decides to go a. And then I'm debating on um, countering out because I don't want him to kill any of the standing things with reduction, which ended up you know being the right play. Yeah, that's my whole hand, but like I said, I have femur, so decide to just make him go at it. And here he's uh, deciding to go nine, which I had two 2k, so I didn't really want to over counter and expect something else to happen. So here with the nine, I just solidified what I was going to do. And he has five of so I'm just expecting him to play Saba and filter out since he wasn't able to filter with the jacks for free. And that's exactly what he does, just Saba and pitch bricks, right? So Kuzan and probably Ice Age. And with two cards in them. And yeah, we're so <laughs> this Delphi deck is just um a joke because I'm still at four life. And uh just keep playing four drops over and over and over. So you know here I'm just uh just going for it. I just really wanted to get him to zero. For 
essentially next turn if there was a next turn uh just uh go all in with 15 since you would only have like a four or five card hand realistically speaking uh, i'm just, just swinging what i can just you know seven's a good number I'm going seven again he falls for the trap card so he takes the last life, he goes to zero, has Savo, I only have one swing left. Uh, I think he was just messing around with the whole Tempest thing, but you know, I just go for more for game and that's it. Four lives still. And yeah, I mean, you know, just Dofi doing Dofi things with, with these new cards are just like kind of, kind of crazy. He's not able to kill my stuff and play bodies. Now he just loses. And then here he was a little pissed about the Jinbei card, but which is fair. That card's a little broken, but you know, every deck has broken cards, so and yeah, that's that's it for this gameplay. I appreciate you guys for watching and uh hope to see you guys again soon. Later.